Hey there creative people, Katrina's here with new Kanzashi flower tutorial. So today we are making this beauty and let's just dive right in. First we're going to make this three layered petal, it's the most difficult petal in today's project. Get a piece of ribbon, any ribbon, one by one inch, seven eighths will work too. And we'll be making round Kanzashi petal. Fold a square into a triangle. Fold each corner down, making it look like a diamond, then fold in half. Adjust the paddle, making sure all the edges are aligned. Pinch it with tweezers and heat seal the edge. If you're not using tweezers, be careful not to burn your fingers. Since we're making a multi-layered paddle, we won't be trimming the bottom. Next, we're taking one and a half inch square and we'll be making a triangle petal. This one is a little easier, just fold in half three times. Now grab your round paddle and carefully insert it inside of triangle paddle. Again, make sure all the edges are aligned. Take your scissors and trim extra ribbon, leaving your triangle paddle about one millimeter longer than the round one and heat seal it with your lighter or candle. To finish, we need another one and a half inch square folded into a triangle petal. Then repeat the following steps. Insert, align and heat seal. Please be very careful and don't burn yourself. Now we need to slightly trim the bottom and heat seal it so it doesn't fray. And our petal is done! We need eight of them, so go ahead and repeat everything we've done up to this point seven more times. To make a double triangle petal, you need two square pieces of one and a half inch ribbon. Take first piece, fold once, fold twice and set aside. Repeat with the second piece, then put one on top of the other and make the last fold. Once again, make sure all the edges are aligned adjust if necessary. Slightly trim the corner, shouldn't be more than 2-3 millimeters.
finish the bottom like in a previous petal. We will need 8 of them as well. Next we need to make 8 small triangle petals. You probably mastered this one by now, the only tricky part would be the size. We are using 1 or 7 8 inch ribbon. For our next petals, we need a piece of ribbon 1 inch wide and 4 inches long. I will show you two ways you can make this petal. The first and the fastest way will involve a device that cuts and seals ribbon at the same time. So fold your ribbon in half pinch it with tweezers diagonally and cut. This way we get two petals we need in a matter of seconds. But of course, not everyone has this device, so here's how you make this petal without one. Again, fold your ribbon in half and just cut it using your scissors. Pinch it with tweezers and seal with candle or lighter. By the way, you can get the tweezers like I'm using at Hobby Lobby if you live in the US. And if not, you can try AliExpress. I will leave a couple links in the description box. So these are two kinds of petals we get from that one piece of ribbon and as you can probably guess we need 8 of each. Okay, this is my favorite part, we gotta glue everything together. So I found it easier for me to form a flower if I first glue the petals in pairs, then two pairs make two halves and two halves make one perfect flower.
Well, what do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Click the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you're new here, consider subscribing for more interesting projects just like this one. Turn on notifications and never miss a new video again. Keep creating, you guys, and thanks for watching.